It is time for a late afternoon, early evening to extended evening hours evening at Epcot. So it's uh, extended evening hours tonight and so we're going to stay for that. We're going to have dinner at Via Napoli and it's currently about 5 o'clock and we have the Guardians like in lane. So let's go ride Guardians and knock out a few other uh, rides while we wait for dinner and then we can see what extended evening hours are like for Deluxe Hotel guests. So let's get over there. Quick jump through Connections Cafe for some aircon and a little shortcut and we are here. Which song will we get and how motion sick will I feel at the end of this? We'll find out soon. Greetings Terrans, I am Worldmark, the Zandarian Ascension Supermarketer. Greetings I am Nova Prime Irani Rayal, Commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Zandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Zandar. That ride is really good. It's a essentially a roller coaster, but you sit in a car that can rotate 360 degrees. And you go through a track with screens uh, telling a story with the Guardians characters as you go around. I pretty much every time I've ever ridden it before, I felt motion sick come off it. But this time, I didn't actually feel motion sick, which was nice. Uh, and we got Conga, which I've never had before. There's a collection of songs, and it's different. It's random each time. Uh, so that was the only third different song, I think. Um, so yeah, I like Guardians, it's a good ride. Uh, now we have, what time is it? 20 past 5, we have some smaller lightning lanes for uh, Spaceship Earth and Living with the Land, so we'll go do them and relax until Remy's, which is a bit later on. There it is, the iconic golf ball you get to ride inside. Let's, let's go. Give it a go. Well, we were about two hours late from that lightning lane, kind of forgot about it, but we still got on, and it actually took longer to go through the lightning lane lane than the regular one that just get in and snake round, and there was basically no queue. Anyway, let's, let's go through this. short wait, it's got aircon, you get to sit down for five minutes, but apart from that, it's not the best ride ever. I think that most people, myself included, probably enjoy it for the nostalgia of having ridden it before when you were younger. Um, and it's narrated by M. Uh, Judy Dench from James Bond. So that is that. We are now heading over to Living With The Land. Um, we'll do that and we'll see if we can get on Soarin' as well. All right, we got Soarin' for right now. So let's go do Living With The Land first and then we can hop on to Soarin', which is right next to it here in the land pavilion. 
living with the land. Another zero minute wait. It's another boat ride where you sit down and largely just chill out in air car for a bit. Right, that's living with the land. It's just a boat you sit on for about 10 minutes and it goes round. Starts off explaining the circle of life. No, that's Lion King, the, the cycle of growing stuff. And then you go into the greenhouses at Epcot where they show you how they grow food and do research and stuff. So now we're going to go on a soaring. Time for soaring. Where is everyone today? Another ride. Every ride we've been on, apart from Guardians, had a five minute wait. So soaring is a ride where you sit in, I don't know what they're called, a little glider, a seat that gets lifted up in the air, and then a bench, yeah, a bench, a bench that gets lifted up in the air, and then it tilts forward over a, over a giant screen, so you're encapsulated, immersed, I guess is the modern word, in the screen, and then you fly through the world. They blow air at you, so it feels like you're flying, there's some water jets as you fly over the water. It's just a little trip around the world. There's one in Disneyland soaring over California which is slightly different and they had here for a bit at the last year. I mean like last year certainly not was here. Um, so yeah let's go have a go on this one. It's worth a five minute wait. It's only substantially longer. We have soared over the world. You, uh, you fly over all the major landmarks in the world basically. There's Eiffel Tower, Taj Mahal, Sydney Opera House, that sort of stuff. There's scents, so when you fly over the plains of Africa, there's a grass scent. It's a, it's a good ride that is. It's fairly dated now, they could do with refilming it with, with modern cameras, but I suspect that will never happen. So, next we're going to go to Figment, largely because it's right next to this, and we have 20 minutes to kill before we can do Remy. Uh, so we're going to go to Figment. Figment, Remy, and then it should be time for dinner at Napoli. We're going to Figment, which is another sit down in the aircon style ride. Most of them here at Epcot are. The only roller coaster that's open is Guardians. This track is closed, but even that's not that intense. Epcot is generally just the slower rides that are more kid friendly than they have the World Showcase for eating, drinking and experiencing the countries around the world. I, th I think that if you hadn't come to Epcot as a kid, a lot of this would be very boring. Like, are you really gonna go on living with the land or spaceship Earth? If you don't have the nostalgia from doing it previously, they're not that great. Even Sorin is, is borderline. But anyway, we did and we do have the nostalgia and we enjoy them, so we are now going on Journey into Imagination with Pigment, so let's go give that a go. Another ride with a five minute wait, the only one that doesn't really is Remy and Frozen Ever After. And we can't seem to get a Frozen Lightning Lane because they're all gone. So we'll see what it's like at extended evening hours. I did get the Guardians virtual queue for evening hours, so if the timing works out we'll go on that again. I'm Dr. Nigel Channing, Chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello! On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh! Can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. They're sight, sound, <laughs> smell, <laughs> touch, goochie goochie go, and taste. <sighs> Taste my chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No. I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go! It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've complete. Uh, let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three. And... 
with now by GMGMT, you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. One spark of light can light your fence, so your mind sees more. And then you come out into the image works, which is some sort of strange musical, like interactive experience. And the gift shop. Here then, another nostalgic Epcot ride. Figment must be the most popular non-movie based IP character at a theme park. I'm trying to think of who else there is that sells so many popcorn buckets and things like that. The meet and greet for Figment when they first started doing it was like hours long. So, it is now time to go to Remy. Remy is a newer ride here in the France Pavilion. You sit in a little Omni Mover, not Omni Mover, a trackless ride vehicle similar to uh, Runaway Minecart, Runaway, Runaway Railway, Villa, Runaway Railway at Hollywood Studios, and it takes you through the Ratatouille movie. So, let's go and give that a go and then we'll see what we can do before dinner and we'll refresh the My Disney Experience app incessantly until we'll see if we can get a Frozen Lightning Lane. That's the only big ride here we haven't really done. We're home, we're in England. They have a pub, they sell fish and chips. You can get chocolate in that store there and tea. What more do you need? The fish and chips here are actually really good. If we weren't going to be in Napoli for pizza, I would totally eat there. They do them in the pub and they do them quick service style. Outside. It's kind of hot to eat outside. I think there's a phone box here as well somewhere. Over the ocean from England to Paris. You can see the Eiffel Tower. The iconic Eiffel Tower with the cable cars that fly between England and France. No, that isn't a real thing in the background. This new Remy Paris France area looks super neat. They've got this super cool fountain here with the photo pass next to it, which is super neat. Cue for Remy is pretty neat as well. We skipped part of it in the fast pass lane, but still pretty cool. Well, this is new. We have boarded from the exit side, just our group. Let's be boarding from here and the regular side as well. Both lines are open at the front, so this is exciting. Yeah, here we go. We're back around to the regular load area. So, we just went round and sat at the regular loading area and then we went. Don't quite see what we gained by loading in the exit area, but there you go.
that's a fun little ride. The uh, the bread smells fantastic in that, and then there's the the little water effects and the heat as you go under the, the oven. So yeah, I like that. It's fun. Uh, where to next? It is half an hour before our dining reservation, so I think we'll just wander over to Italy and refresh and see if we can get the the Remy's Lightning Lane before we uh, have dinner. We're about a few hours away from, oh, sorry, technology. We're a few hours away from our Guardian's uh, virtual queue for extended evening hours. I don't know if we'll stay for that. We've already done it once, but we'll see how it goes. It's nice and cool now, uh, so that's nice. The Werther's original shop in Germany smells incredible. We went in there and now we have a dessert, caramel popcorn, which a uh, freshly made one as well. So that's dessert sorted for after dinner. And Epcot also looks incredible at night. It's pretty dark here, not sure how well this shows up, but the bag is huge. Let's uh, give it a go. It is really nice. It's like basically just caramel covered popcorn, but the caramel flavor is really nice. It's not too sweet either. Yeah, that is, that is lovely. Time for dinner at Via Napoli then. So this is supposed to be a really good Italian restaurant. I know some of the pizza ingredients they apparently import from Napoli. And the water, I think they import from somewhere in America that has water like Napoli. So it'll be interesting to see what this is like. Let's go give it a go. All right, I just did a whole section of that and record. So we have ordered the meat lover pizza. We'll see what it's like. Pizza from an Italian place. Uh, they have bread and stuff to start with, but the, the bread was seven pieces, which is quite a lot for one person. So we're skipping that. Um, yeah. So we'll just wait and see what it's like. It is crazy busy in here, so we'll see how long it takes. All right, the pizza is here. This smells fantastic. Let's give it a go. I am done. I need a nap now, that was massive. That was easily a two-person meal. They could have had two slices of that and been very full. The pizza was really, really good though. It's a thin-based pizza, and then a thin layer of tomato, and then a nice amount of cheese on the top. And the, the meats are really juicy and flavorful. That was, that was a fantastic pizza. I really enjoyed that. I would highly recommend this restaurant. Well, that was a nice meal, and then you come out and the balls all lit up. I think it's getting ready for the fireworks show. Let's uh, head round the lagoon. Let's head round the lagoon and back out to the front of the park, I think. plan was to stay for extended evening hours, but given that the queues were so short, we did everything. The only thing I might be interested in doing again is Guardians, but our estimated time for the boarding group is in two hours, and I'm also motion sick on that at the best of times, so having just ate a giant pizza, it's probably not a good idea to, to ride it again, so I think we're going to call it a day there. That is the end of this vlog. We, uh, we got a lot done today, we didn't get here till like 5 o'clock and we did all the rides apart from Frozen and then we and we got dinner and got to see the fireworks show as we walked out so this is a good day, the quiet crowds were really low as well. So if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and there will be more Disney vlogs um, coming soon. And we should just make it out in front of the crowds for the nighttime show, which I think is in the later stages now. So that'll be nice to get on the monorail early before the rush. <laughs>